Hey everybody. Uh, sorry I've been a little absent. If you look at my dates, I'm a little behind. And yeah, I just been dealing with my own stuff and uh, been doing what I always like to do, which is uh, run away and hide and act like everything will be okay if I just do my own thing and worry about me and stop worrying about what God wants. And um, I have more than once purposely hidden. <laughs> I'm fully aware of the consequences, fully aware of the outcome, and yet for some stupid reason I still feel like and think I can hide from God. Um, so, um, someone was speaking to me today and got me to revert back to doing my devotions that I was doing daily, and I've been doing the uh, Man Up devotions that I have on my devotional app. And usually when people think about running from God, they always talk about Noah and how he ran away from God trying to avoid going to Nineveh and instead tried to run to Tarshish and etc 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 but after reading today and doing some other things I realized that Noah is not the only man that God did this to um, so today uh, Samson was brought to my attention and um, if you know anything about Samson it's the classic story of God gave him the super strength turned him into superman himself and gave him the ability to kill um thousand a uh, thousand or three thousand men with a jawbone i don't remember exactly i haven't i haven't read the whole story recently <clears throat> but the point of the matter is is that he gave him a ton a ton of power and he started to abuse that power instead of taking responsibility and he started to fail and Samson, like most men, when he started to fail, did what all men start to do. And that is, he started to retreat. Men, after they fail, retreat. That's just a habit. It's what we do. Um, and I think that's what I've been doing. And Like, after reading this today, it was a punch in the gut, because go figure, God knew exactly what I needed to hear. And so... <clears throat> Samson started to retreat from his responsibilities. He started feeling sorry for himself. He started running away. He started feeling bad for himself. And when they caught him, he was chained up. And instead of fighting and getting away like he already knew he could because God put it in him from the beginning, he started to admit defeat before it was even defeat. He started to retreat. He, he retreated within himself. He started to hide. He started to sit there and... and and be petty and pout and whine and complain to himself and doubt, doubt what God put in him. And uh, that's what I did uh, recently. I've been beating myself up over my own failures and instead of just owning up to them, I've been pouting and hiding. And um, I don't want to be like that anymore. God came to Samson and told him, well, God didn't, an angel did, and told him, you still got this in you. You can still do it. And Samson, uh, well, he started to uh, repent and take responsibility. And instead of retreating, he repented, which gave God the ability to restore. When he stopped running from God and stopped hiding and hiding behind his own failures and, and moping, God restored him. God restored him to the full potential of what he already knew Samson could be. I want to be that. I want to be what God already sees me as, what God already knows I can be. I don't want to hide behind whatever God thinks I can, or whatever I think I can be, and then I fail and I hide behind my failures because I realize I didn't meet up to my own expectations. Instead... I want to flourish in what God wants for me. He's already premeditated everything for my life. Like he knows how, where I'm going to succeed, where I'm going to fail. And he tries to lead me along those paths. My own God-given free will is what's messing that up. <laughs> so to, to deny that is moronic. Um, every time I come back to God and I actually start to give him my life and stop hiding my life gets better he starts to lead me in a way that I didn't even think was possible and he starts blessing me and he starts restoring to as I said before my full potential um, 
We're going to read uh, Proverbs 24, 16, which is... So we're reading uh, Proverbs 24, 16. <clears throat> For the righteous falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble in times of calamity. So stumble in times of calamity means they stumble in hard times. Let me read that again, though. For the righteous fall seven times and rise again. So it tells us we will fall. Even if we are righteous in Christ, close to Christ and everything else, the righteous will fall seven times and rise again. But the wicked stumble in times of calamity. There is no then they rise. It tells you the, the, the wicked, when times get hard, the wicked will stumble and fall. The righteous will stumble and fall and get back up. We will keep going with Christ as our crutch. And that's the way I want to be. Uh, I want to keep going. I want to keep facing these hard times and screwing up. And I learn more and more every time. And then the other verse I was going to read was uh, Philippians 3, 12 through 14. So... <clears throat> And this is, this is how I want to live. This is how I want to live my life. This verse right here. This is what I want to, to, to strive for daily. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on for, toward the goal for the prize of the upward God, call of God in Christ Jesus. So what that means is we're not perfect. Not that we, are, we, we have no claim to perfection. We will not be perfect. But we have to stop holding on to the past and move on, press forward to perfection. To stop hiding behind where we screwed up, where we messed up. If you're climbing up a ladder, and you're trying to move forward, you have to keep moving your hands up the rungs. If you sit and hold on to this past rung, and you're afraid to let go of it because of your fears and your lack of faith, but you keep reaching with this one, and you keep pulling, and you understand, what, you understand that you're pulling, and you're trying to go forward, but you refuse to let go of this past hurt, failures, injury, whatever... You won't progress. You will not go forward in life. God wants us to have faith, let go of our failures, let go of our screw-ups, and progress forward to strive for perfection, to strive for Christ. Oh, that's all I'm going to read for today. I, Guys, this is what God's telling me to do. I hope somebody's getting something from it. Um, yeah, let's pray and call it a day. Hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I get my own crap figured out. Maybe I get my own head out of my ass and start to see something. I don't know. Lord, thank you for this great day. Help us to, um, help us to strive, for, strive forward. Help us to keep climbing up that ladder and progressing forward in life. Stop reaching on and holding on to the past lord that we would have faith that these failures were not your doing that they are our own shortcomings that you take everything and only allow it to progress our lives joshua twenty four nineteen tells us that everything you do is a purpose everything that you will not let us fail and uh lord i pray that um you would allow us to keep seeing your purpose in our lives and we would stop looking at our own failures and our own desires. And that, Lord, uh, anyone who watches this would be would benefit from it. That they would strive to be a better man as I am striving to today. Lord, I want to be more like Christ. I want to be more like what you intended man to be. More like Adam. More like Noah. To let go of my own shortcomings and to cling to you and have faith in what you're doing to us and how you're developing my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope you all have a blessed night. Till next time.